Hey church family, Pastor Brent here. Uh, we are in day three of Harvest in Your Home, and I'm so thankful to bring you encouraging truth from God's Word uh, while you shelter at home. Now, if, uh, if you're anything like me, uh, I've been spending a ton of time asking questions about the future. Uh, when are we going to be able to go back to work? How do you restart an economy? Is this going to happen again next flu season? When is life ever going to be normal ever again? So uh, that means I've been talking a lot uh, and spending a lot of time talking about things that I know absolutely nothing about. Uh, you don't know about the future. I don't know about the future. The professionals, the scientists, the politicians uh, don't know about the future. And, uh, and so it's times like these. Uh, when I need to hear the words of uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 5, Peter says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Peter wants you to know something that we, again, desperately need to know in, in days like this, which is your future is secure in Christ Jesus. Uh, Peter says that those who have believed in Jesus as Savior and Lord have been reborn into the family of God. And as children of God, we have waiting for us an inheritance in heaven uh, that is there being kept for us by Jesus Christ. So this text is vital and important for us because it reminds us that our real future, our ultimate future, is not dependent upon the stock market. It's not dependent upon some relief bill that's uh, being debated in Congress. It's not dependent upon how many bottles of sanitizer we have or, or dependent upon whether uh, our job or our business uh, is doing well. Uh, our future isn't dependent upon even the choices that we make today. Our future is dependent upon uh, Jesus Christ. He has it secured uh, for us. Uh, our future hope has been secured by the life death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. That means our future, uh, the, the future that we're going to enjoy in heaven for all eternity, is not the future that uh, we've earned. It's, it's not the future that we deserve, because uh, he died uh, to take away the future that we deserve. It's a future that he earned through living an entire life obedient to the Father, fulfilling every desire of the Father, even uh, being obedient to the point of death on a cross. We're going to enjoy the rewards of the, the life that Jesus lived. That's our future. Our future hope has been secured by the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so while you and I use the wisdom that we have to navigate uh, the things that are in front of us as we try to be responsible for the things that God has given us oversight of uh, in this life. Uh, you know this, we need to know this, uh, that God is keeping an inheritance for us and God is keeping us for our inheritance. Uh, let that be a source of peace and, uh, and rest for your soul. And as you continue to focus on Jesus through these difficult times, you are loved. See you tomorrow.